Good morning. We are doing a fun new crock pot recipe that we were actually testing out today to use for Valentine's Day. Um, I'm testing it out now so I can get pictures before Valentine's Day, but I thought since I had to make it and my family was super excited about it, I would make it with you guys too. For anybody who has the Magic Menu Planning Made Easy crock pot box, this is week 12. It's the dessert recipe. So as you're hopping on, tell me good morning. Tell me what you are making tonight in your for dessert or for dinner. We're making this for dessert. I'm actually making for dinner something healthy. I'll show you guys that tonight. But how many of you guys have the Magic Menu Box and have any of you guys tried week 12? Because y'all, this one is looking so good. So this is chocolate fondue. If you're interested in the boxes and don't know anything about them, you can click the link in the video. What we're gonna try today, I'm gonna try, some, I'm gonna test something funky out first. Um, basically this is chocolate fondue for kids that's gonna be super fun and cute for a blog post and I figured you guys would let would mind if I made it with you guys um, it's killing me because I'm trying to be healthy this year but I got to make this recipe for a blog post so I'm gonna make it with you guys and then thankfully my son from college is heading home today so um, he will hopefully eat a bunch of this so let me show you what you're gonna need you're gonna need a cup of you need some milk chocolate chips you need some dark chocolate chips you need some semi-sweet chocolate chips you need some evaporated milk. You're gonna use some coconut, coconut cream, whatever that is, coconut cream. Um, it's really thick. I've never used it before, so I'm curious how it's gonna work. Then you need some a cup of brewed coffee, and let me just, I'll tell y'all my crazy brewed coffee story um, here while we start. And then you need, what else do you need? Some cinnamon and some vanilla. Okay, let's get started. So first, you're gonna take your crock pot, you can do a lined crock pot or you want to put, um, you want to put, spray it. And you know what? I actually meant to pull out a liner this morning. I never use slow cooker. It is very rare that I will use a slow cooker liner. But today, because this one I think is going to be a mess, I am going to try the liner. If you don't have a liner, just spray it with some crock pot. Uh, spray it with some, spray it with some Pam. It'll do just fine. Okay, so we're going to pull this out. I normally don't do this. So we'll see. I'm hoping this will fit. So that's gonna be my big question. I guess as long as it, as long as I put everything in it, we should be fine. Oh yeah, this is gonna work. Okay, so normally I don't use a crock pot liner. Today, for the safekeeping of my, to not have to clean up as much tonight, I'm doing it. Very rarely do I use the crock pot liner. There we go. Um, guys, give me a harder like if you are making something in your crock pot. Tell me what you're making. And if you have the Magic Menu Planning Box, could you let me know that and let me know if this is one you've tried? This is Slow Cooker Chocolate Fondue. My family is so excited about this one. Also hit the share this button and let somebody know. Okay, so we've got the recipe. Hang on, I'll scoot this right here so we can see everything. Chocolate fondue, we're gonna add in one package of milk chocolate chips. I have the worst scissors ever, always in here. Let me see if I can use a better scissors. One, one package chocolate chips. One package semi-sweet chocolate chips. This makes a ton, so I'll have enough to use today to, to photograph and do a blog post about, and then I'll also have enough to actually use on Valentine's Day again. And my son will have plenty to take home to his college kiddos, which I know he'll be excited about. Um, one thing of dark chocolate chips. Then we're gonna add in a cup. This is very important, y'all. Are you ready? A cup of brewed coffee. Now, for those of you who are new chefs in the kitchen and haven't cooked a whole lot, um, I bought this one time I had a recipe when I was just married and it called for a cup of coffee it was one of my mom's recipes and she didn't say brewed coffee and I put an entire cup of coffee grounds. Do not do that because that totally ruined the cake. It was horrible. Then you're gonna use a jar of evaporated milk. And this is the one thing y'all, this is the thing I'm kind of not so sure about. Cream of coconut. How many of you guys, can somebody tell me, here's my cream of coconut. I don't, I don't ever use cream of coconut. So this to me looks really weird. Um, what do y'all think? I'm assuming this is right. I'm so afraid to put this in. It's really thick. Is that what cream of coconut is like? Like, I'm so worried that something is wrong with this. Y'all, is this, is, tell me that's what it's supposed to look like. Is that what cream of coconut is supposed to look like, anybody? Did, is that cream of coconut? 
You're making me hungry too, trust me. Okay, is that cream of coconut? Is that right, y'all? I'm just gonna trust it is. I'll wait a second and see your comments. Then we need a two teaspoon, well, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm looking for the comments about the cream of coconut. It is right, so it's not like I've never used it before. This is one of Sheree's recipes, and um, I trust her completely, so I know it'll be delicious. But I was like, is that really what this stuff is supposed to look like, or did we get the wrong one? Then you need two teaspoons of vanilla. One, two, three, four. This is half a teaspoon, which is why I'm using so much. All we're gonna do now, oh, it smells so good. I love the smell of cinnamon in the morning. Okay, all we're gonna do now is just cook it on low, two to three hours, and I'm gonna show you something I'm gonna try, because I'm setting up for this crazy blog post. I figured, do y'all wanna see what I'm gonna try with this one that's kinda crazy? Um, the things I'm going to use for the toppings are angel food cake. Well, the fondue. This is for the fondue. Did I tell y'all this is the slow cooker chocolate fondue? I'm going to use Rice Kiss crispy Treats, angel food cake, strawberries, bananas, kiwi, which I don't think I have ever cut in my whole life, pretzels. Here's the kiwi. I don't know how this is going to go. We'll see how this one does. What I'm gonna test with my angel food cake is, are y'all ready? Here, I'll come bring you guys right over here so you can see my angel food cake. What I was thinking would be so cute with the angel food cake, and you guys can tell me if you think this is gonna work, because this is just so fun. If you're doing Valentine's Day at home and you're like me and Valentine's Day kind of feels, everything just feels odd this year, y'all. It's just, it feels weird. So I'm trying to think of some ways to make things happy at home when we can't necessarily go out. So I'm gonna take my angel food cake, and this is just one I bought at the store. Um, I'm gonna be really sad because I'm trying super hard to be healthy today, and I can't believe today's the day for me to test this recipe. I was like, really? You're gonna make that today? What I wanna do, though, is somewhere on my table I have, well, I had somewhere a Valentine's cutout all my Valentine's stuff and now I've lost it. Hang on. I've got a Valentine's heart shape and I lost it. I may not be able to show you this if I can't find it. Hang on. It's got to be here. It has to be here. Here it is. Okay. So this is my Valentine's heart shape. Do you see this? What I'm going to do is I'm going to try cutting this angel food cake into those shapes. My question is, let's see if we can even, I don't know if it's big enough. It may be too small. I was the, I, I thought I, my angel food cake is gonna to be too small. I'm gonna to have to find a smaller die cut, which I think I actually have. Hang on just a second, we've gone too far now. Y'all are stuck with me. I have, I need a smaller cookie cutter. And I can't imagine. I am the queen of the cookie cutter. So if anybody has this heart-shaped cookie cutter, it's gonna be me. Let's just see if we have one. Not, I'm gonna have to find one. So I can't imagine I don't have a heart shaped one. Well, hmm. Maybe I really don't have one. Okay, well, we need a Valentine cookie cutter. I was all excited about showing you how this would work. And now I'm not so sure it's gonna work. We'll just do circles, I guess. Which is not perfect. But. You'll get the idea with the circle, unless I can figure out. Those would just be too big. So my plan was to cut these ahead of time to be super cute, little hearts. But I'm not 100% sure I have a heart. So I don't know if that's gonna work or not. It's, it, we'll see. And of course, obviously, y'all know I'm not gonna be wasteful, so I'm gonna, we're gonna have all of this. I wanna work on that because I'm gonna do some DIY stuff later. I just thought I'd share that with you guys as I was going. You're gonna let this stuff sit in your crock pot. So for anybody who's new here, this recipe is from week 12 of the Magic Slow Cooker Box. You get the PDF files right away if you happen to order them today or if you're watching and have it, make this one up. For anybody, I will give you the ingredients though real fast. Um, let me see if I can put it right up there. Package chocolate chips, package, okay. 11 ounce package chocolate chips, 11 ounce package, dark chocolate. So you want milk chocolate, dark chocolate, semi-sweet chocolate. So three bags of chocolate chips, all the kinds, milk, dark, semi-sweet. Can of cream of coconut, can of evaporated milk, 
one cup strong brew coffee, two teaspoons vanilla, half a teaspoon ground cinnamon. I am gonna work on the blog post and I will write this all in the blog post, but if you're interested in using the recipe cards, you will love them. Yes, I've got the marshmallows to dip too. So I've got marshmallows. Um, you're gonna absolutely love these, I promise. You're gonna enjoy every one of them. Marshmallows, uh, y'all are all into the marshmallows today. Sounds so good, minus the coconut. Is there a replacement for that? I don't think there is, but I think it's gonna work. I don't think you'll taste the coconut flavoring. And, oh, the other awesome thing about this for anybody who has the box is that you can freeze everything, um, which is fantastic. So, so fun. Graham crackers, Sue, that's a good idea. And I have those. Good idea, Sue, I'll try those. Um, it's a yummy recipe. It's going to be so good. I'm so excited. Do y'all have any questions? If you're interested in these, try them out. Good morning, Christine. Y'all, if you need, if you struggle with menu planning and grocery shopping, this magic box is the best ever. Tonight, I'll be doing, we're actually making a low-cal deep meal for dinner. I'm going to try not to eat this today, which is probably going to kill me, but I got to take pictures for the blog, so we got to get it done. Um, so we're making a low-cal meal that's healthy tonight for dinner. First time here, Jennifer. If you're a first-timer, I am so glad you're here. You're going to love hanging out here on the Passionate Penny Pincher page. We're the happiest people on the planet, I think. Um, yeah, pound cake, toasted coconut-covered marshmallows. Oh, Sandra, that sounds good. Tina Jo is new, too. Y'all, I love when new folks hop on in the morning. It makes me so happy to see you guys. We do, for anybody who's new, I guess I should tell you what we do. My name is Laurie. I'm a Passionate Penny Pincher. We um, encourage folks to save money. It really, honestly, we help, hope, we help women take control of their food, family, and finances. So um, their home, family, and finances. So we take care for our homes by doing a big home cleaning system that a lot of these women here do every day, and it's amazing. I hopped up and did all my home stuff this morning. Um, we take care of our family by feeding them well with yummy food that is good for them, except when we do chocolate stuff. Um, and we also take care of our finances by budgeting and talking about ways to save money. So um, we're a fun group. You will love it here. I'm super happy you're here. What are we making for dinner tonight? I am making a the sun-dried tomato basil pizza flatbreads. Um, they are from the locale meals that will be coming out in February. You will love them, I promise. The chocolate does not get weird if you freeze it later. No, Sheree promised me it doesn't, so that's what I'm gonna do with mine. Slow down, gal. I know, Charlene, I get nervous when I'm on Facebook Live, so I talk fast. I always talk fast, my brain just goes fast. It's making you hungry. Newbie here too, Shirley, good morning. Y'all have an amazing day. Try out the Magic Menu Planning Boxes if you haven't seen them before. They really are like a game changer. They come with 12 weeks of slow cooker. We have 12, we have slow cooker freezer in summer. Locale will be out next. 12 weeks of recipes. They come with a little dry erasable card. You make everything on the recipe and you have five yummy foods for your family. They're fantastic if you're new. Like, I hate talking about my own stuff, but it's so good that I think you'll win it. You're weird. You don't like chocolate, coffee, or coconut. Debra, you are weird. I can't even imagine. You're, Tracy Ann says your sister always laughs when she gets a good deal because it's from the Passionate Penny Pincher. I love that. Oh my goodness, Sherry, you've been watching for a while and you've never spoken. Guys, always say good morning to me because I do go back and read through the comments and I love seeing you guys. I'm just a mom over here, just like y'all, a lot of you guys anyways. And um, I love hanging out in the mornings and seeing you guys. We are normally on on Facebook around 9 a.m. Eastern time. I'm always on Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 a.m. Um, and then the other girls are on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We have an amazing team. Good morning, Cindy. Your daughter made 15 freezer meals a piece yesterday. Cindy, your girls are rock stars. I love that. Stir the fondue. Um, I guess I should read if I'm supposed to stir the fondue. I actually am going to do it on Instagram real fast, so I probably won't stir it. Yeah, I'm... Stir until smooth. I'm supposed to stir it till I'm smooth. So yeah, I'll do that. I'm gonna do it on Instagram for those girls over there because sometimes I feel like I, I give you guys the best and then I kind of give them the leftover. So I try to save a few things over there. You're running Try the Meals, Cindy. Try out the slow cooker or the freezer would be my two recommendations. I like summer though. Anyways, I'm excited about Locale. Locale comes out February. It is low. I think we figured out that like 45 of the recipes have less than 15 net carbs. So they're, they're not healthy, healthy. Um, no, that's not true. They are low calorie. They are healthy. Um, but they are not like, they are not no carbs. They do have some carbs in them. Um, good morning, sweet lady. Good morning, Amy. I'm so glad to see you this morning. Amy, I appreciate you hanging out here. I love when I see people who are around a lot because then I'm like, oh, they stuck around and they came back again. So Amy, I know you've been there. You hate coffee. You won't be able to taste the coffee. That's the It's just for flavor. You won't taste it. You would use cinnamon graham crackers. That sounds amazing. Holly, we, Heidi, the the low-cal meals will have a lot of keto recipes-ish, 
but they're not true keto. We're not a true, I'm not a keto blogger, so I, I just would rat. In fact, if you eat keto, um, we do posts on where to get keto because my friend Jamie is on the team and she does keto, but my recipes still tend not to be keto. So anyways, you guys have an amazing day and I will talk to you soon. Snag the slow cooker box and make something fun for your family tonight. Have a great day, guys. Bye.